focus on your breath and see what kind of breathing is comfortable right now. You can experiment with different kinds of breathing, long or short, fast, slow, heavy, light, deep, shallow. See what the body needs right now, what the mind needs right now. As for your other thoughts, put them aside. Even they have to do with duties you have outside, you can put them aside for the time being. Because there are other duties that are more important. There's the duty to comprehend suffering, to abandon its cause, to realize its sensation, and to develop the path. Now, these are duties that nobody imposes on you, but the Buddha said, if you want to put it into suffering, if you find that you are suffering and want to get out of it, this is what you've got to do. We live in the world where there's so many other duties pushed on us all the time. Things that this person wants, that person wants, and then we decide that we want. We get all entangled in these things. It's hard to pull ourselves out. And to forget that this other set of duties is actually more important to us. So it's always important to remember, just because something is pressing doesn't mean it's important. And there are times when you have to push even the pressing things aside to say, look, my mind needs some space for itself. Because it's the state of your mind that you can take with you. And there comes a point where you have to put aside all the duties of the world, not because they're finished, but simply because you can't carry them out anymore. And then what have you got? You've got your mind. And what shape is it in? If it's been misshapen by all the things that you've done as you've gotten entangled with that things in the world, it's not going to be a very good thing to take with you as you go. And it's not a very good mind to live in as you're here. You want to live in a mind that has its own space. It can spread out a little bit. This is why we practice generosity, why we practice virtue. Or we develop the mind, especially in meditation, because it's time for the mind to spread out a bit and get its own shape and look after the duties that are really in its own true interest. As I said, no one is forcing these duties on you, but there is the fact of suffering. There are the pains in the body, but that's not really suffering. The suffering is what the mind does to itself. It holds on to things and it beats itself up with them. And that's what we've got to learn how to undo. So you want to get the mind quiet so you can see where is the mind picking up things unnecessarily, and where is it stabbing itself or beating itself with those things. How can you stop that? That's an important skill. In fact, in fact it's the most important skill in life. Because otherwise, as you leave this life, you're beaten up not only by things outside, but also, more importantly, by what the mind is beaten up in itself. So you've got to learn how to step back and see where is the mind causing itself unnecessary suffering. How you can stop that. That's in your own true interest. And these are the duties that are good for you. And they're not imposed on people outside simply through the force of their desires or the force of your desires. They're imposed on you by the fact of suffering, but when you follow them, you find they really do lead to happiness. With the duties of the world outside, sometimes you gain the results you want, and sometimes you don't. You do the best you can, and sometimes things just collapse. But the duties inside, if you actually follow them carefully and you follow them all the way through, you find there's no disappointment at all. There really is a true happiness that can be found by trying to understand when the mind is causing itself suffering, why is it doing that? What does it think it's getting out of these things? And when you can see the reason why you're doing it, then you can get, develop some dispassion for the cause and you can abandon it. And you do that by developing the path, like you're doing right now, working on the mind and getting to stay with one thing. Concentration is an important skill because it allows you to see what's going on in the mind to catch the mind in the act when it's causing itself unnecessary suffering. So it's your choice of duties. To what extent are you going to let the duties of the world run over you? And to what extent are you going to make some space for yourself so you can follow the duties that are really in your own true interest, especially in the interest of the mind, to give it some space, to give it some breathing room, so it can really be its own person. And in following duties, it can find a happiness that is not going to disappoint.